Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Today we got two groups that gotta go. Um, not off the farm, we're just gonna move them. Seems like it's always a moving day, but moving days are great days. And check this out. I have got some help out here on the farm. There is Isaiah. Over here is Brooklyn. So I've got some hired help. We're paying them really well. They've got room and board and food and we've got them put to work and it's helping out a ton getting this yard mowed while i'm still able to do some things um got another another wallow dug this one might be a little deep but we don't have to fill it all the way up cal is already approved but we've got to get these girls moved they've been in this spot since we brought them which is about three weeks which is too long you can see there is a bunch of poop in there um, so it is time to get them moved in this spot Yep, it's definitely good for one pig uh, This spot is retired and needs to rest. So we're getting them moved today. They're all in here chilling in the cool Hey ladies Looks like we're just about at maximum capacity in our little 8x8 uh, storage spots so we're gonna get them moved across into that one, get their fences set up and moved, and the other girls need to move to the gilts. So a couple, couple moves today, the gilts from there are going up along the tree line. We'll get them moved next. So let's get the fences put up and we'll get our large girls moved to some fresh grass. super excited that this reaches if you have not seen our giraffe tools video we'll post that here um, get one of these super helpful so it just reaches over to that wallow and uh, that is a good thing because the other day I was mowing and the grass was tall and we have that spigot right over there well I hit the hose and cut the hose up so instead of going and getting another hose our giraffe tools hose reaches just enough to fill up our wallow. So pretty excited about that. If you haven't seen that or if you think that's something you might use, we've got a link in the description. Go check that out. We can water both sides of our farrowing barn. And now I can hit this waddle. I wallow. I believe it's 150 or 180 feet of hose. It's only half inch line. But while setting up these fences, that wallow is able to get filled. So awesome. Check them out, Giraffe Tools. All right, we've got the area set up, but we got the wallow filled. The best part about this is it retracts on its own. And you don't want to let it go slam up in here but this thing is so handy if you guys think something like this would be useful for you check it out we got the link below Woo. and there's the end the only thing i don't like is this little half inch hose it takes a while to fill some things up but it's much better than toting water buckets five gallon buckets everywhere especially Right there, I was able to fill the wallow while I'm setting the whole pen up. Uh, this looks awesome. Compared to where they just were, it's gonna be great. They're gonna love it. And six large sows, you see the wallow is good to go. See how long that holds water. Six large sows, they have not torn this area up. Obviously they had the wallow to mess around in. If they didn't have a wallow, they might have made one for themselves. The only other spot right there is by the waters where they flip the waters and lay in them. So let's see if we can get them over. Come on, pigs. 
Come on, pigs. Here, pig, 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 pigs. This is their first move on the farm. So they have not experienced this here. I'm sure on their other farm they had the chance to move. It's always fun one-handed. But we're gonna get it done. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. I should have brought food. These guys love some food. I know that much. But we'll get this fence out here. And now back this one up to here. And we've got one path coming across. So might have to get some food because they don't know about this yet. Come on, pigs. Come on. Let's go. We got some laggers over here. Come on, pigs. Mabel's, Mabel's thinking about coming. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. Come on. This might go a little slower than normal. Come on, pigs. I got a way to speed this up. Let's go get some food. All right, we got the secret weapon, but I don't have a handle, so I'll try not to shake you much. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. There's the music. Come on, pigs. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on, pigs. There we go. Come on, stragglers. Perfect. Come on. There's always one. Mabel, you are too big to be running up my backside. It's like riding a horse. Come on. Come on. The fence isn't up anymore. Come on. There you go. Good pigs. Come on. Let's get you a little something to eat, I guess. <laughs> We've been watching these girls. Haven't noticed them coming to heat, but that doesn't mean they haven't. Haven't been watching them too close, but we'll see if any are bred. If not, we will uh, put them in for some spring litters. So the feed was the trick. They will follow a feed bucket for sure. So I'm gonna have to put this camera down since I don't have a handle on this bucket and get them what they're following me for. Awesome. You can see beautiful green pasture still. We're a couple days away from the first day of fall, but uh, still beautiful out. Getting down in the 50s, up into the 70s during the day, 50s at night. But uh, these pigs are doing great. But in the sun, they still like to get in that wallow. So that's why we've got the shade cloth and we put that new wallow up. This is our first move on the farm. Get the question all the time, how often do you guys move them? Well, we try to do it once a week. This one took three weeks. Um, but you see, they didn't really mess up that area too bad. Hey, you. Um, and they normally will poop in about the same spot. They're pretty smart. They don't wanna be in their poop. So normally when you have a pen, there's heavy areas of poop in certain spots, not all over the place. So. I gave them a bigger, bit bigger fence. I've got 400 foot fences on this one. Um, gives them a little bit bigger area. They'll probably be in here at least two weeks, maybe a little bit more. Uh, we'll just look and see how it looks. If it's got way too much poop in it, then we'll move them. So there's no set time. You just look at it and see what you think is best. So anyway, guys, we're gonna do one more real quick. Not gonna show too much of it, but these little gilts over here, they see what's happening and they want to get moved. So their spot's pretty poopy too. So we're going to get them moved across. All right, we've got their pen set up. It's a little awkward shape. I just realized there's an awkward looking pig stuck in here, but I wanted them get, to give them the most space available. We've got um, cattle panels or field fence on that side. So I just ran one fence from the barn out to the field fence. We're gonna use this existing fence here, just open it up. So I just wanted to 
make it as big as possible for the existing area. So we'll leave Cal in here and we'll get these pigs over. They know what's going on. Once again, their area, not bad at all, but they've eaten down everything they want. Come on, pigs. Actually, I could probably just let them in right here. Come on, pigs. I'm gonna take this fence and back it up off the line into their old pen, just to give them some more room. So we'll just open it up right here. You guys know this is our, well, if you don't know, this is our young gilt group. Uh, not yet had litters. Ugh, there we go. And uh, we will be breeding them probably in the spring, at least Willabine, Molly, and possibly Betty White. I know she's a favorite of a lot. Hey, Molly, that's not feed, you putts. Let's go, let's go. So into the new area. And already going to town on what they like there, so. Awesome, awesome day. I hope you guys have had a great day. I'm gonna just shut this up so we're not wandering away while I'm talking. And then I'll get it situated where I need it, but. Great day to move pigs. Can't complain, it's not too hot. I don't have shade cloth, but you guys can see over here towards this time of day, they have plenty of shade. I'll probably put a pool in here for them. I'm not gonna dig a wallow right now just cause they do have that shade and they can get down up against that tree line. There's dirt over there they like to roll around in and stay cool. So what are you doing? There's old Molly. Let's see how fast, start counting. Let's see how fast we can get her to roll over. Might take a little longer today because, uh, well, because Cal's in here and because she's excited about getting this new grass. Yep, we're not gonna get her to roll right now. Cal, you're not a pig. Let's go, let's go. So these girls don't really care about the food right now. They're going to town on the grass and enjoying all the new spoils of this spot. And once again, they'll stay in here probably two weeks at least. They stay in a little bit longer this time of year. And Betty White's got a mouthful there. What'd you find that you like, Betty? Huh? What is that? I don't know, but it's good. <laughs> Cal's, Cal's over there getting chased by Phyllis. So I'm gonna get Cal out of here. It is chore time. We're gonna get ready to go to that. You ready to get out? Come help me on some chores. Oh, there's the first pig that rolled over. Old Cal. But we're gonna finish up chores. Enjoy the rest of our evening. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are doing well this weekend. Are you ready to roll over yet? If you haven't already, check us out on Instagram, Facebook for updates and pictures. There it is. I knew it wouldn't take long once you got all the goods in here. You can keep chewing. <laughs> anyway, guys, we appreciate you following along. Don't forget to make the change. We'll see you on the next video.